Hi guys, welcome back to Winging the Wood and Understanding the Bible Verse. Today I read Psalms 87 and Psalms 88. And what I find interesting or what stands out to me the most is Psalms 88 verse 1 and 2. And it says, O Lord my God, who saved me, day and night I cry out before you. May my prayers come before you, turn your ears to my cry. So, what I love about this is so much, is just the first part. Let's just break it down. So, it says, Oh God, it says, Oh Lord, my God, who saved me. Now, this is what's really cool about this, is because there's only one person who could save you. When you accept Jesus Christ in your life, your life starts to change, and you feel the Holy Spirit come into you. And then, it says, Day and night I cry out before you. So when you do accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's not where you go to church. It's building up a relationship with Him every day and every night. Thinking through Him throughout the day and just saying thank you Lord for this beautiful day that we have. And thinking about Him at the night time too. I'm always thinking about Jesus and I'm always thinking about, man, you know, everywhere you look, there's somewhere that could, that could always relate back to Jesus. Anywhere on this planet. So, that's just really cool. Something to know. And then, also, when it says... This is, um... This is part two. It says... May my prayers come before you. Turn your ears to my cry. So, what I like about this is so much is that... When you're not a believer... And you do not believe in Jesus Christ... People come to pray to Jesus... And people wonder, how come my prayers aren't being heard? How come my prayers aren't being answered? Well, because Jesus doesn't just want to answer you prayers. He wants to form that intimate relationship with you. And forming that intimate relationship, prayers will come answered. And that's really cool about this is Jesus actually wants that relationship with us individually. He doesn't want it with us not believing in him. He wants us he wants us to follow him. And it's hard. Every day we fell. I fell every day as a Christian man. But what I like about this so much is that I could get up every day and ask God to guide me. Help me for that guidance. People who are lost and don't know that or people who are lost. They don't they don't understand that intimate relationship. It's all about having that intimate relationship with Jesus Christ and building that up. So I pray that helps you guys today. Pray that you guys have a good day, blessed day. Love you guys and God bless.